Look, I know that I am no Jackson Garlock over, over there at the weather desk, but I just have to comment on the beautiful weather we've had. Seriously, it was just about perfect. I mean, there were 101 reasons to be outside today. Softball was one of them. Wausau East at DCE. Looks like a highlight for the Evergreens. Nope, Savannah Speed showing off the arm strength to get the out at home. Not to be outdone though, the girls in green came up with a great inning ender of their own. Dakota Watucky keeps the ball clean before getting the extra out at first. And that play got the greens offense going. What can Brooke Brown do for you? Lays down the bunt, the ball bounced a little funny. Then it's just great base running by Watucky for the score. Lily Jensen would add another with an RBI single. That brings Brown home as the Evergreens get the big 11 to one win. Evergreens girls soccer also going tonight, hosting Spash, and we are off and running with Amelia Castleberg for this read. She's got a little space and delivers an absolute sniper shot to the back of the net to give the Panthers the lead. DCE with a chance to answer Aaliyah Robel the move, the doink, she meets the all-time goalie, the crossbar, then the follow-up sails wide. They come up empty-handed or footed, but they were undeterred. Roby Coel, a gem of the shot, however, the wall. Alexis Torhorst there for the stop, not once, but twice, laying it all on the line, but the persistence of the trees pays off as they would go on to get the win. So DCE goes two for two. Could they get the clean sweep with baseball? This one also against Spash. Everest down one, looking for something here. Bennett Klish says, overruled. I got the inning ender. So to the plate they would go, but it would be Nate Langben who was eating this inning. A nice one, two, three for him. And it's back to offense for Everest, where it looks like they might get something going. Caden Bangston slides one through on the right side of the line to get on the bag. But Spash's Ty Rettner getting them out of the inning with no damage done. However, that damage would come later in the fifth and sixth as the Evergreens win it to get the 5-3 victory.